Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Let's Make an Open World RPG. Um, in this episode, um, it's pretty much going to be a recap kind of-ish episode. Um, I believe four, about four days ago, I released a new trailer for, um, of course, Dawnhaven. Um, that was titled the um, update trailer. So it's pretty much um, the work I've done in the past two months. Um, as many of you may or may not know, um, I did lose a lot of pro um, a lot of progress um, on Dawnhaven. Um, so I pretty much had to like start from uh, well, not really start from scratch, but um, I pretty much had to start over with remapping some of these maps. Like um, for example, um, Kaizen. I had to remap from um, from start. Um, I have also changed a lot of names of these towns. Like for example, this used to be called um, Cassin's Town, but I changed it to Kaizen. Um, over here used to be called something, but I named it Koi Town. Um, this is still Hollow's Tip. This is still Snow Haven. This is no longer Winter Rise. It's now Summerfell. Um, this is still high fire of course this is like the one major map that I have to remap because it is the capital of Dunhaven it's just it's so big like every time I get like I think about like mapping it it just it's so daunting that I just like try to skip it I also do have to remap um, Grove Town right here um, so I have added um, some new structures in the world um, for example um, I believe this is Castle. What is your name? Castle Save. Yeah, Castle Sa Save War. It's Castle Save War. Actually, no. Castle Saver. 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 I gotta. So, Castle Saver. Um, this is Castle Razor. Razor. Um, new structures. This is Foldering Temple. Um, this is where you pretty much come if you want to um, gain your um, halo. Um, new structures. New structures. Um, I did remap um, the Magi Sentinel um, Castle, which is right here. Um, another new addition will be this. Where is it? This is where the um, oh, I changed the name of the Fighters Guild to the Knights Guild. Um, this is Castle. I forgot what I called it. Um, this is the Chris. Did I name it anything? I know I named this something, but for some, for the life, um, I, I just can't remember what I named it. Um, well, it's either I change the name of it or I'll make it a new, I make it something else. Um, so that's pretty much the major changes in the map. Um, I have added, um, there are some more structures that I've changed up a little bit. Um, I did get some new tile sets. Well, not some addition to the old tile sets that I did kind of um, implement into the world like these trees over here let me actually switch to this view um, I added a little bit of that to you know touch it up um, of course most of the map I still have to remap um, so like areas like over here I still have to remap all of that um, but right now I'm more mainly focusing on bigger areas um, I also did remap um, Long port, which I want to change the name, but I for some reason don't know what to change it to. Um, so that's the major changes map wise. Um, if anything, I would say the mapping got the, um, the most changes from, um, from the previous versions. Um, some of the other minor things I did change, um, items. Weapons. This isn't really something major, but I pretty much changed the ordering of these. So I made it so all the regular um, variants of the weapons would be first, and then the 
exotic types and then the epic type and then the mythic type and then yeah before it was like um, for all the swords it was like all the regular swords or the epic swords or the exotic or the mythic and then the axe or the exotic axe but I just pretty much streamlined it um, there is a um, oh and also one other thing that I am working on as you can see some of these have updated graphics I'm still working on changing all the graphics up um, still yep yeah, it's a lot of stuff to get into but I am changing up all the graphics and that's another major major reason why I pretty much updated um, updated the look of uh, well not the look the the ordering of these swords and all these weapons and then also the armors I also changed the ordering of those um, and that's because the one script I've been searching for all my life well ever since I started working on Dawnhaven one of the major scripts that I've been searching for I finally found and that script is so you know how in Skyrim um, every 48 hours the shots were restock and then like um, a blacksmith will only sell blacksmith stuff and um, a wizard only sells wizard stuff a general market can sell all kinds of stuff so I've been looking for a script that pretty much um, shops by like random shops based on your level based on the type of um, based on the type of um what do you call those people um shop type it is and all that i could not find that script and also to this day i did not find that script what i did find was a script called if i can remember damn it it's in here somewhere dynamic shops and this pretty much allowed me to do exactly what i wanted but it took a lot of work um so pretty much i'm gonna briefly run you guys down on I don't that doesn't sound right but I'm gonna brief briefly brief you on exactly what I did to get that to work so what I pretty much did was yep a whole lot of these a whole lot of events so the more the more you level the more um, weapons get added onto their ran that's what um, blacksmith weapon level do it stores all the IDs of um, all the items you can get in the shop at the level that you're at and it's pretty much the same for magic um, shop alchemy shop is a little bit different because there's no level of restriction you can make everything from right off the bat um, here's how this works at the top you get um, a variable that's it's called town and it's set to one and then this script is gonna run seven times for the seven major um, for the seven major shops so, so the first time it runs is gonna say hey I'm working on hollow tips um, blacksmith okay I'm gonna pick um, either a weapon armor or item and then once I pick that I'm gonna add that to the to the blacksmith shop in hollow tip and I'm gonna do it 15 times so I'm gonna add 15 items and then if it turns out that I pick up like um, two of the same item I'll only keep one type of thing and then at the end of course I increase the uh, value once and then it's gonna keep doing that until um, this runs out and I do that for the blacksmiths I do that for the magic shops I do that for that and I do that for the alchemy shops so um, those are the major things I've been working on um, of course there's some little other tweaks like the vamp whole vampire system I had to remake um, that's pretty much it for that and I also remade the um, the guardian stones um, I got rid of one of the stones I believe I forgot which one but it, it was like 10 but now it's like 9 um, and also I have been working on the lore um, I actually started with this yesterday um, pretty much this the guide this application is really really great because it helps me organize so well and it pretty much um, there's a whole bunch of loopholes missing from this um, from the from the lore that this God is pretty much making me um, think about. For example, I didn't have this that bit so war before, but then I realized that it's a war happening. I have to give it a name in order for me to describe it. I can't just say they're fighting. So uh, here I'm gonna have that bit so war, and then I'm gonna describe exactly what happened um, in this time. Um, I have the concept of souls, light souls and dark souls. Um, 
also concepts of spirits concept of time which is pretty much the mind of um part three which is the um the the major deity of the world um the divines adrian and then i also now have the adrianic spir uh, spirits and then the adenotic spirits so these are the spirits of the that are made up of the light soul of Parthrium, and then the Adenotic would be the ones made out of the dark souls. Um, also, the um, the Edrin, um, the first spirit that was made, um, the first light spirit that was made, the, the second light spirit that was made. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll try to make a video um, at least once a week from now on, um, maybe more within that week so yeah definitely stay tuned um i'm excited about um the new stuff i'm going to be doing for dawn haven and i'm also going to be changing up my youtube a little bit um to give you guys more content and make you know everything pretty much more funner for you um and uh, of course i'm going to be edit um well not edit um better quality for you guys you know so that way you could enjoy what i'm doing for you guys some more tutorials i know you guys are you guys have been asking me about those a ton um so yeah definitely gonna be doing a lot more for rpg maker vs vs ace actually let and mv um mv i'm gonna make a whole new tutorial for for you guys who don't know exactly what it's all about goodness that we all like anyways thank you guys again for staying in tune make sure to hit that subscribe button um to be updated every time i release a new video make sure to hit the like button every time um if you like this video um dislike if you dislike it and also please please leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think because that's important for me good feedback bad feedback all kinds of feedbacks i need those to keep you guys entertained and to help you guys out peace